The story starts deep inside the Earth, in a place called Hollow Earth. Here, many giant creatures, known as Titans, were following Kong. Kong managed to escape them by tricking them into falling into a hidden trench he revealed by throwing a stone, which he then used as a trap. In the chaos, Kong defeated one of the Titans by tearing it apart. This made the other Titans run away, scared of him. After this, Kong was left alone in Hollow Earth. Meanwhile, on the Earth's surface, we meet Dr. Eileen. She works on predicting and preventing the dangers posed by these Titans by analyzing signals from them. Godzilla, another giant monster, acts as a protector of humans against these Titans. He usually lives deep in the sea. One day, a dangerous Titan attacked city Rome, and Godzilla emerged from the water to fight it. After a fierce battle, Godzilla defeated the Titan using his atomic breath and then returned to the sea. In Dr. Eileen's office, they receive unusual signals from Hollow Earth, which worries Dr. Eileen. Meanwhile, her adopted daughter, Gia, experiences hallucinations while at school, leading her to draw extensively on her desk. These unexpected drawings concern both her teacher and classmates, leaving them puzzled about her condition. Dr. Eileen is summoned to the school, where Gia explains her confusion and fear about the vivid and strange visions she gets when she closes her eyes. It's revealed that Gia is the last remaining member of the Iwi tribe, capable of communicating with Kong. Gia continues to have these visions at night, expressing to Dr. Eileen her belief that Kong is in danger in Hollow Earth and her desire to meet him. Dr. Eileen reassures her, asking her to rest while considering her next steps. Upon reviewing Gia's drawings, Dr. Eileen realizes a shocking similarity between them and the signals received from Hollow Earth earlier. She consults an expert, hoping to determine if these signals were sent by a Titan or Kong. Surprisingly, the expert concludes that the signals, contrary to expectations, were not sent by a Titan or Kong, but by humans. The signals sent by these humans from Hollow Earth were a bit strange. At this time, Dr. Eileen receives a message that Godzilla has awoken in the water. Seeing that, she realizes that there must be a danger to the Earth, which Godzilla has earlier predicted. After getting out of the water, Godzilla has made Jerusalem his place. Here we're shown that Kong, from the Hollow Earth, has also come to the Earth's surface. Dr. Eileen and Gia were watching him coming out. Kong make them understand that he is worried because of his teeth ache. To treat his teeth pain, Dr. Eileen calls one of her team members, who by hanging with a plane, ties a rope with Kong's teeth and goes into the plane and pulls Kong's teeth with the rope. After some time, they have fixed a fake teeth to Kong. Coming back to the office, the signal specialist tells Dr. Eileen, these all signals are sent by the humans. They're informing us about the upcoming danger in the Hollow Earth. To face this all, Dr. Eileen decides to go the, the Earth's core. Dr. Eileen forms a team to journey to the Earth's core, including herself, her daughter Gia, a signal specialist, and two others. They embark on this perilous trip with Kong, guiding them into Hollow Earth. The journey is fraught with danger, but eventually, they arrive in Hollow Earth, a realm of stunning beauty. Kong heads to his cave, while the team proceeds to their established base. Back on the Earth's surface, Godzilla's movements are monitored from Dr. Eileen's base as they try to pinpoint the looming danger. Godzilla is shown gearing up for a battle, enhancing the strength of his atomic breath. During this time, Monarch base personnel, associated with Dr. Eileen, attack him with atomic bombs, inadvertently increasing his atomic breath's power. In Hollow Earth, Dr. Eileen discovers that the Titans have demolished their base. Kong senses a mysterious energy, indicating the presence of another Titan, and prepares for combat with his axe. Following this energy, Kong discovers a new area within Hollow Earth. There, he encounters a reflection that turns out to be a small gorilla. Kong attempts to befriend the gorilla by offering a handshake, but the gorilla bites him and flees. When Kong pursues, he is ambushed by a group of similar gorillas who capture him. For the first time, Kong sees giant gorillas like himself. He manages to break free, and using the small gorilla he names Suko as a makeshift weapon, defeats his attackers. Kong then signals for Suko to lead him to his tribe. Suko agrees to lead Kong forward. Meanwhile, Dr. Eileen and her team in Hollow Earth are trying to decipher the strange signals. One of the team members warns about the dangers of the area, filled with numerous titans, advising the group to follow him for safety. However, before he can finish his warning, a titan that looks like a tree suddenly consumes him. Continuing their journey, Gia notices a symbol representing a god. A butterfly then lands on a stone, and when Gia touches the stone, water starts flowing into a small tunnel. This leads them to a location shielded by an invisible barrier. 
Upon disabling this barrier, Dr. Eileen and her team discover a new world. On another front, Kong and Suko's journey takes a turn, when Suko, reluctant to lead Kong to his tribe, tricks Kong into stopping by a stream, knowing a formidable titan resides within. The titan attacks Kong, who defends himself by placing his axe in the titan's mouth. In the struggle, the titan attempts to drown Kong, but Suko flees the scene. Shortly after, the severed head of the titan, killed by Kong, lands near Suko, making him realize Kong's extraordinary strength. After this revelation, Kong and Suko continue towards the tribe, sharing the meat of the defeated titan along the way. The story then shifts back to the Earth's surface, focusing on Godzilla. Godzilla becomes aware of a titan residing in the ocean and decides to confront it. Upon reaching its domain, Godzilla starts causing destruction, which angers the pink titan with a flower-like face. The titan emerges to attack Godzilla, but Godzilla, acting swiftly, overpowers it. Utilizing his atomic breath, Godzilla ultimately defeats the pink titan. In Hollow Earth, Dr. Eileen and her team discover a new area, but as soon as they enter, they are attacked by humans. These people are from the Iwi tribe, capable of communicating with Kong, and have been sending signals to Dr. Eileen. Before any harm could be done to Dr. Eileen's group, a girl from the tribe recognizes Jia as one of their own. To verify this, Jia is taken to the tribe's chief, who confirms Jia's heritage through a mind-reading ritual. As a result, Dr. Eileen and her companions are granted access to the tribe. Dr. Eileen inquires about the danger signaled by the Iwi tribe. They reveal that many gorillas like Kong inhabit Hollow Earth, dominated by a different, more powerful monkey who aspires to rule both Hollow Earth and the Earth's surface. This ambitious monkey was previously defeated and imprisoned in Hollow Earth by Godzilla, but now poses a renewed threat. Meanwhile, Suko leads Kong to his tribe, where they witness the gorillas at work. Kong becomes enraged upon seeing an elderly gorilla being mistreated and swiftly defeats the aggressor with a single punch, asserting his dominance. This act of defiance attracts the attention of the Gorilla King, who then approaches Kong. The Gorilla King mentioned by the Iwi tribe to Dr. Eileen confronts Kong and mocks him for his metal teeth, causing laughter from Suko. The King's anger flares when he sees Suko laughing, leading him to cruelly throw his own father into the fire, causing Suko great distress. Kong is enraged by the King's merciless action and challenges him. The King attacks Kong with a unique belt adorned with bones and a crystal at the front, which partially shields him from the belt's full force, but still injures Kong's hand. In a strategic move, the King wraps his belt around Kong's neck, attempting to strangle him. Using his strength, Kong manages to overpower the King and throws him down, narrowly escaping death. Facing his own defeat, the King commands his followers to extinguish the burning lava. Subsequently, an ice titan is brought forth, its essence contained within the crystal on the King's belt, which he uses to control the creature. The King orders the Ice Titan to attack Kong. As the Ice Titan unleashes its frosty breath, Kong defends himself with his axe, which results in his hand becoming encased in ice. Suko quickly guides Kong to an escape route, and Kong flees from the imminent danger. Pursued by other gorillas, Kong leads them to a place filled with traps he has set. Many gorillas fall victim to these traps, while the rest catch on to Kong's strategy. As the gorillas navigate past the traps with caution, Suko unexpectedly causes a rock slide, which incapacitates them, showing his allegiance to Kong. The battle has left Kong weakened, but with Suko's help, he continues forward. The scene shifts to Godzilla, who, having vanquished the Pink Titan, has assimilated its power. Meanwhile, in Hollow Earth, Dr. Eileen witnesses her daughter Jia's contentment with her tribe and makes the tough decision to proceed on her journey without her. Suddenly, a machine activates, opening a protective shield that acts as a doorway through which Kong and Suko rejoin their tribe. A gorilla witnesses the gate and flees to inform the king. Kong informs the tribe about his confrontation with the king. After delivering the news, he collapses from his injuries. The gorilla informs the king about the secret gate, suggesting it might lead to a portal to the Earth's surface, where the king could achieve his ambition to conquer Earth. The king, elated by this revelation, mounts the Ice Titan, his control cemented by the crystal, and advances towards this new opportunity. Godzilla becomes aware of the king's liberation and his malicious plans. Since Godzilla was the one who confined the king and his Ice Titan in Hollow Earth, he understands the gravity of the threat they now pose. In Hollow Earth, Dr. Eileen and her team examine Kong and discover his hand has been injured. To address this, they equip Kong with a metallic hand brought from the surface. Upon attaching this metal hand and integrating energy boosters, Kong instantly feels rejuvenated, forgetting his pain. 
Suko notices the king approaching their tribe with his Ice Titan and quickly informs Kong. Having been previously defeated by the Ice Titan, Kong realizes he cannot overcome this fight it alone. He urges Dr. Eileen's team to flee for their safety and decides to seek Godzilla's help. Godzilla detects Kong's approach and mistaking him for an enemy, engages in combat. Kong, however, refrains from retaliating as his intention is to warn Godzilla of the impending threat. Despite this, Godzilla attacks him with his potent abilities, forcing Kong into a defensive position. Meanwhile, in the Iwi tribe, Jia spiritually connects with the deity Mothra. Now, with Jia's soul in Mothra, fly towards Godzilla and Kong to offer their aid. Jia, in the guise of Mothra, arrives to find Godzilla and Kong in conflict. She intervenes, halting their battle and enlightening them about the looming danger. Simultaneously, the Iwi tribe introduces a magical red liquid into the water, triggering a remarkable phenomenon where pyramids emerge from the earth and begin to assemble. As the process of closing all the Earth's portals was underway, the Gorilla King, with the aid of his Ice Titan, intervenes by freezing all the stones in the area, preventing the closure of the portals. Just before the Gorilla King could make his way into the Earth, Jia as Mothra arrive. She distracts the King, while Godzilla and Kong rush to the scene. Kong engages in combat with the Gorilla King, empowered by his new metal hand, making the battle less challenging for him. Godzilla, however, struggles against the Ice Titan as he finds himself encased in ice. Mothra arrives just in time to free Godzilla from his icy prison, allowing him to rejoin the fight against the Ice Titan. During the skirmish, the gravity in the area dissipates, causing everyone to fall through the Earth's portal and emerge on the surface. The Gorilla King, still intent on domination, first targets the sun with the Ice Titan's powers, aiming to freeze it, then the sea, and gradually begins to encase the entire world in ice. Godzilla and Kong, united in their efforts, confront the Gorilla King and his Titan. The King launches a building at Kong, who, with his metal hand, easily shatters it. Following this, Kong delivers a powerful punch to the King, breaking his teeth. The Gorilla King is knocked down, and seizing the moment, Godzilla removes the crystal from the King's belt, which he used to control the Ice Titan. Kong aims to destroy the crystal, but the King tries to stop him. Just then, Suko arrives, wielding Kong's axe, and shatters the crystal with a single strike, unleashing a massive energy blast. This act liberates the Ice Titan from the King's control. Kong and Godzilla then playfully toss the King back and forth between them. The Ice Titan seeks retribution against the King for his imprisonment and ultimately encases him in ice, achieving vengeance. Although they initially think the King is defeated, Kong notices one of the Gorilla King's eyes is still unfrozen. Kong finishes him with a powerful slam to the ground. Godzilla uses his atomic powers to dissolve the ice enveloping the clouds and the sun, subsequently melting the ice on Earth. The scene transitions to Hollow Earth, where Dr. Eileen and the Iwi tribe celebrate the end of the danger. As Dr. Eileen prepares to leave with her team, she hesitates to take Jia, knowing her happiness lies with her people. However, Jia expresses her desire to stay with Dr. Eileen, declaring that her true home is with her. Dr. Eileen, moved by Jia's words, agrees, and together, they head to the Earth's surface. Mothra, revered by the Iwi tribe, seals all damaged cores and portals, restoring stability. The final scene reveals a weary Godzilla resting in Jerusalem after the battle, while Kong returns to Hollow Earth. Recognized for his bravery, Kong is crowned king by the Hollow Earth gorillas. With this video ends, and before going, please click the like button and subscribe button for more amazing contents like this.